Så har vi super ikke. <laughs> I have had a really productive week. Uh, it was a little bit frustrating and <laughs> in my project wasn't working the way I was planned. But I think I was able to match this this group of frust frustrations and do something creative with them, you know? Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Um, what I presented today, it's not anyway something I was um, expecting, but I think it's absolutely related to my research so it seems to me it was uh, born from a real real fleshment of the research of the living in drift cool. <laughs> I have to say for someone that, that was like struggling with English you really eloquently just Yeah, I love the words you choose because sometimes they're 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 so wrong. They're right. They're fantastic. I love it. <laughs> well, I need to think to speak, but see, that's my problem. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, I didn't see your uh, performance. I didn't participate in your performance today. So I would like to know what do you think? Um, how do you think you you? was today in the performance of what the people talk I haven't heard any feedback yet mm -hmm. um, I'm very critical of myself so it was hard um, because I like to get things right and I keep forgetting that this is an experiment and it's allowed to fail and actually I think today was a fail for me but I think I learned a lot Because if I ask myself the original question, how much can I physically do myself before everything starts falling apart? Mm -hmm. I really challenged myself this week, so I used I used technical equipment that I wasn't used to. I added layers onto my game. I added audience members. I added sequences. I added layers and layer and layer, which was fantastic throughout the week. But for me today, like last night when we presented the piece, I got really good feedback and I felt really comfortable when I walked out of here. Mm. And today I ran the pace and it got really good feedback and this and then we open drift and we start drifting and oh my lord, I yeah, it's it's mad. But I learned a lot. I'm still learning a lot. I can't you know, it it, it was it was a process I had to go through and it was really cool. You know, yesterday I was I've participated in your performance and uh, I could see, I could recognize some, uh, I could recognize that you achieve some uh, points, some points. You have said to me you would like to achieve in that interview you did with oh, wow. one each other. Uh, thinking in this fact uh, I want to ask you what do you think uh, or how do you think this this drift exercises this drift activities related to write down what you are thinking, write down what you are wanting to achieve, this kind of exercise, well, I don't know about you, but to me, they are so drifty related, you know, I only do it when uh, I am with Jaji and Georgie. Do you think these kind of exercises uh, I don't know the word in English. I think they... Helped you? <laughs> yes. I think from the beginning of the week, I came in with a very confident, I have a game that was a game. It was very simple. It had no layers. It was on the construct, what it was. It was there. It was on the floor. And we got down and we played it. 
But I also had these this idea of this metaphor for my own story and I wanted to layer them on top. And I think throughout the week, and especially through the workshops with Jaji, with Georgie, with Claire, with uh, Tassio, with everyone this week, it has been fantastic. Um, so it's been a really cool exercise to work my way through. The paperwork for me helps because I keep thinking really, really big. And then the paperwork lets me go, yes, but channel that. How do I channel that? And how do I make it good? So it was really nice to just kind of pull it back there and keep reflecting every day. Um, yeah, it was, I think the paperwork for me worked. So I have to ask, your process really changed. On Monday, I, when you started, you showed us this fantastic piece. And it was really technical movement and it was really graceful to watch. And it was really, there was something quite, you felt that it was on, there was something on the edge the whole time. And today you had this very different performance where it was more of an installation where you left the room. Mm -hmm. And I was just wondering about your process to get from there, this very physical piece to this. And if, if maybe, I don't know, if you took it further, what would you do? What would you do next? What would be your next step with this project if you took it there? Yeah, I'm not sure about it, <laughs> but you know, when that, piece, that performance I presented uh, in Monday, that is exactly the kind of thing I know how to do, you know, it's the same thing I, um, I know every time, I know every festival, I know every presentation, I know every performance, yeah. and I know it works so ah people like when i when i do it i know people like it you know i i know it could be really good it's not a problem but i wondering uh, when i came here i was thinking about to do something new something uh, undone to i have never done before and the first day I did that performance because I was a little bit lost in my wanderings, in my ideas, in my head and passing the time I could uh, absorb a little bit of the poet, poetic is, I don't know if this word means uh, a little bit of understanding about the kind of uh, performance, contemporary performance people are doing in our environment. You and their friends and people in the MA and George and Z is that a you? And so try something new. So this is this was my challenge. The challenge I. I've tried to push myself in and it is the because of this challenge I have uh, left it away that first performance and uh, arrive at this new one but the next <laughs> step is something really difficult to think about I think I need to be radical, radical, in in the this thing of left the the scene, the performance, because I have a lot of ideas, things things to do with without my body, and I need to push me to do it. That's cool. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I spoke. No, it's cool. I learn a lot and it's it's always just really cool to come together with artists and like just chat and be like, this is what I'm thinking. The real world doesn't understand me. And then you get to come and play. <laughs>